what is up everyone and welcome to my youtube channel today's video i'm going to be bringing you guys along for a cruise on my honda grom in case you guys don't know this is the 2025 model i'm leaving best buy i had to come get a media mod so i can fix my audio issues that i've been having anyways back to the grom it's it's a lot of fun to drive i've been enjoying it I took it out for a, a drive this morning. Yeah, it's been a ton of fun. Oh man, there's a ton of traffic right here. I'd love to lane split, but I don't think that's gonna be an option here. Make sure she's not a lane drifter. Cause you get a lot. You get a lot of them here. Should I lane split? Mm, nah, I have about 62 miles on the bike. I've put about 30 on it today. I drove it for like an hour this morning. And now I'm driving it again. I had to come to Best Buy. And I figured I can take the streets that I like to drive the bike in. I think I'm gonna lane split up here. Uh oh, did I just see that my helmet isn't tied down? Dude, that's the second time I've done that today. I'm gonna have to pull over and fix that. I'll pull over once I hit the back roads or something. But so far, bike's been a ton of fun. It's easy to drive. I mean, it's not fast. Not fast at all. It struggles to keep up with regular traffic. That's... I didn't get to lane split, but I was a little reckless, but I got it. I got it. It's just been a while. You know, I shouldn't even be lane splitting. My helmet's not tied up. We're about to hit the back roads. It's just after this street. And I think that's really where you, this bike kind of does really good is once you hit the back roads, there's not a lot of traffic. Speeds are usually 30 to 40 and you get some nice views too. So. Let's see if I can move up on the pack. Just let the, the dude go through. I mean, the bike has plenty of power, you know. It's not the fastest thing out there. If you're just driving it on the streets, it's enough. I do want to take this bike out at night. Um, and yeah. Kind of see what the nightlife is on the Honda Grom. I'll pull over real quick and secure my helmet. Can I go check that spot out up there? It looks really interesting, and that's kind of what the Grom is for—to just kind of explore areas. I mean, if anybody tells you anything, you just leave. I'm gonna go check that out. Ah, oh, the ghost neutral. Oh my god. So you try kicking in a second. Nope. Look at that. That's the only thing I don't like about this bike. Hopefully. I saw some comments. People saying that it fixes with time. I really hope that's the case. Because everything else on this bike is really good. But that. Let's go see what they got going on over here. This is my hometown and I've never been here. Oh, private road. Never mind. I don't want to get the cops called on me. So, never mind. We're out. Oh, well. It did look pretty cool. I wonder what he's hiding back there. So, back on the street. Real easy to drive. Real smooth to shift. Rides like an actual motorcycle. Is it a motorcycle? I don't know. If it is, it's barely considered one. Oh man, I get really bad anxiety when I drive through people like that. Because you never know if they actually see you. Like, people aren't paying attention. Like, that guy's on his phone. And when you're on an even smaller bike than usual, it could end up pretty bad. Let's go up to front.
it's a good thing about living in California. This is actually, I think, the best state to have a motorcycle in. Probably the worst state to have a car that you want to modify because you can't do anything to it. But when it comes to bikes, they look away. And not to mention that you can ride 12 once a year. Oh yeah, picking up some speed. It gets up to 40 pretty quick, but after 40, it kind of struggles to keep going. But, I mean, 40's, 40's plenty fast. It goes over bumps pretty smooth. I saw people change the suspension on this bike to make it a little smoother, but I don't have any problems with it. I ordered two mods to it. I already put one on and that's the screen protector. I didn't do a good job on putting it though because I have a ton of air bubbles on there. Yeah, first, first through fourth, it's a lot of fun. It feels like you're going really fast. It feels like you're going faster than you actually are just because you're going through the gears quick. But then you look down and you're like, oh, I'm barely doing 35. So there's that. I can't stress how easy it is to drive. That's the thing that amazes me about this bike is how easy it is to drive. Like this is the perfect beginner bike. I wish I would have gotten a, a Honda Grom instead of my Kawasaki 250 actually. So this is the downtown area. Actually, let me go through this way. It's not much going on. All right, we cleared the downtown part of the city. Now, hopefully I can run into the wildlife that they just keep out here so I can show you guys how cool it is. They just let these peacocks wander around here. And I pretty much see them almost all the time I drive by here. So I really hope I get to run into one right now. Look around. No peacocks. Damn, that sucks. I'm at, oh, there's one right there. He's just hanging out. Hopefully the GoPro caught it. He was just laying down there. And they're pretty big. When I first saw him, I thought it was a turkey. Cause I, I'd never seen a peacock before. It's a cool looking bird. At least I'm glad I got to see one. hard body those are nice it's a little tricky when you're going uphill this is a uphill even if I'm giving it gas sometimes it'll still stall maybe it just doesn't have enough power look at that gets up to 40 really fast and then it kind of dies off but I like going through here because there's some really steep roads over here. Like, look, you can see how steep this road that we're about to go on. Earlier, I came up here and I couldn't go past 40 and I was full throttle on fourth gear. Look how steep the road is. It's a cool road. Time to hit the road. Let's go full throttle. full throttle up that steep road how fast are we gonna go stuck at 43 oh we're slowing down 42 oh man so it lacks a little bit of power am I gonna do some mods to it I don't know I'd rather just kind of keep it as a city bike I don't even know if I want to put a exhaust on this bike I don't know yet I mean, if I do that, then I might just get the intake and a, a flash for it. I've been driving this bike for two hours already around there. And I'm not bored. Of, I'm not bored of the bike. I don't really want to get off it yet. I wish I can keep driving it. But I'm almost to my destination, so. Yeah, and... As I mentioned, I did get another mod, and that's the Yoshimura fender delete for the license plate in the back, where it gets rid of the mud flap that it comes with. 
I think the mud flap makes it kind of look like a more of a scooter than a motorcycle. That's the only thing I don't really like about it. But yeah, I mean that'll make it look more of a street bike. I think it'll look better. What I do need to look into are getting some new mirrors because these mirrors are useless to me. I can't look past my shoulder. Yeah, so far, bike's great. I love it. It's awesome. It's a Honda. Hasn't given me any issues other than that uh, Ghost Neutral. You guys can tell me that, you know, it's me or whatever. But, I mean, I've seen, even in my video that I posted about it, right when I got it, there's a lot of people who said that they have the 2025 already and that they're going through the same thing that I'm going through. So, keep, keep that in mind if you do want this bike. I did read because I guess it's been ongoing on these bikes for a long time, which is kind of shocking that Honda hasn't fixed it. But yeah, they said that there's these other pedals you can get that will help it. But I don't know if I want to do all that. I mean, it's not the end of the world. Like when I'm just riding, I don't really deal with it. But yeah, so let me pull into the parking structure I'm gonna show you guys the mod that I'm gonna get I did go ahead and get a new uh, license plate paint and what's gonna be replacing is it's gonna delete all of this stuff this fender right here it's a mud flap actually it does have a purpose and it's going to be pretty much leaving it just underneath here and i think that'll make it look more of a sports bike which is really what most people try to do with this bike they try to make it into a sports bike but i mean it's a really slow sports bike if i'm being honest that's going to be it for today's video hope you guys enjoyed my first ride in it and yeah catch you guys on the next one make sure you guys like and subscribe turn on notifications and do all that good stuff and I appreciate all the support. Thanks for watching.